Here with big brother legend, Nikki Graham. Nikki, everybody had such high expectations for you, and you totally delivered. Um, oh, so is this just your personality that we see? Unfortunately, yes. I'm afraid so. I am erratic and all over the place, 100 miles an hour, and never sure whether I'm on my ass or my elbow. You know, people people wonder, like, you know, you've done so much on Big Brother in the UK. What was the appeal of coming to Canada? Like, why do this? Wow. I mean, I love Big Brother. I've always been such a huge fan of that show. So to be able to do it in another country, get voted in by their, by their country was just such an opportunity and an honour like I never expected to be voted in and I cannot believe that I did get voted in and got voted head of house. Um, you had so many so many great moments like I mean every time I was sort of like rewinding just to watch it again but it was when you did the dinosaur walk it was just the funniest thing you know the raptor where you just said I have to let it all out where did that come from? Oh goodness yeah I think Mitch actually witnessed that yeah <laughs> I, well, do you ever find in life that you just can't take it anymore and you just have literally just had enough? What's the point in holding it all in? You'll just self-combust. It's better to just get rid of it, deal with it, and then you can move on. So it's better, yeah, I just like to expel all that angst. You know what? You didn't seem like you were there to win. Were you there to win or were you just sort of there to sort of see what Canada was like? I was there to survive and there to to just be in Canada. And I mean, this house has just been wild from the world go, from the world go. And yeah, I've never had a chance winning. It's the fourth time I've done this show. I've never won it. I've never come close. So you seem to take a Tim's betrayal pretty hard. Uh, what was it with Tim that sort of bothered you so much? Tim was my best friend. And me as a person, I'm so loyal in a friendship. And I do everything for my friends. I put 100% in. I expect 100% back. And if that loyalty is broken, I get very hurt. But this is a game. And it's very. it was hard for me to realise that this is a game and not real life. Because I do get very involved in it. And I do you know, become very involved in people that I'm with and I totally forget about what's going on out there. So after being in jury, I had time to reflect and think, oh my God, it's just a game. I love him so much. He's going to be one of my best friends for life.